Can you talk about some of the more popular activities that Code Your Dreams offers among students you work with? I mean, like you mentioned things like robotics and and sort of can you break more into like the, the the confluences of like tech and art and tech and music and tech and dance that you were you were mentioning before? Like what are some of the specific things that people really respond to and get a lot out of? Yeah. So I would say that the most popular program that we have is app development. Mm hmm. We know that students are on their phones constantly oh, yeah. and sometimes they're on our, their phones in classes. So we have to have a no phone rule. But um, that tends to be a really popular program and get students really excited about computer science generally. Mm -hmm. um, this is a program that we have that's for students with no computer science um, background or very little. And by the end mm -hmm. of the program, they're able to develop their own app that you can see on any device. They showcase at the end of the program. Um, and that solves a very tangible community problem that they see mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis that's important to them, but also is important to their community. So that one's really exciting because we get students excited about community activism mm -hmm. and uh, software for good and all of those fun topics. Uh, we also have a program called Activism and Web Design. That's another mm -hmm. really popular program. Um, it's, you know, we bring in local activists to talk to our students. So we have one coming up in a couple of weeks um, on the South Side. We have some great Southsiders um, coming to talk to our students. Getting students really pumped up about the idea of being an activist. Mm -hmm. And then they um, learn about UX UI and actually build their own um, website about mm -hmm. the topic that they're most passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, so that's popular. The, yeah, the art encoding, the music encoding are all really exciting. They're really experimental programs that mm -hmm. we have. Um, students being able to sew LED lights onto clothing, okay. um, mm -hmm. being able to create wearables, LED lights on their shoes, mm -hmm. and to actually code them uh, to go alongside music for Ooh. like dance groups, dance recitals, wow. casual jam sessions, things like that. And then our art encoding is um, a really fun one. Also using Python, students being able to come up with different designs. Um, this is also the, the pixel art uh, curriculum that I was talking about, where, you know, it, it, it surprises students sometimes that everything you see on a computer on a phone is made of pixels. And so yeah, boiling right. everything down to that, having them create their own designs on paper and then code them mm -hmm. to actually be able to see on a device is really exciting. There's definitely a magic of seeing something that you coded, getting to hit run and then actually seeing it pop up for you. Yeah, that's that's so cool. I would like to do that myself. <laughs> Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.